to see you again. <laughs> I've been baking all morning. Oh, it's hot in here, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's because of the baking. No, it's hot outside too, Chef Jeff. Chef Jeff, my mom sent you these. Oh, great. What is it? Ha! Lemons, huh? That's great. Lemons are always useful in a kitchen. <laughs> Hi, Chef Jeff. Hi. Sorry I'm late. I was just finishing soccer practice. Wow, it's hot. Chef Jeff. Can I please have something to drink? Well, of course you can. Uh, you can have some of that. I tell you what. Why don't we make some lemon cool drink with some of these lovely fresh lemons, huh? Mmm, that sounds fantastic. How do you make it? Well, it's a secret recipe that has been passed down through generations of my family. What? The chef Jeff said he was going to tell them a secret, but if he tells them, it won't be a secret anymore. Yeah, and he's going to show them how to make cool drink out of lemons. How do you do that, huh? What? What? Do you stick a straw in the lemon and suck? Yuck! Key! So, this is the chef Jeff family lemon cool drink recipe. <laughs> it sure is. What do we need? Well, we need. Lemons, and what else do you think we might need? Water. Mm, yes, and? Gas. <laughs> gas? Why gas? Are we going to make it fizzy? No, this is an unfizzy lemonade. Now, uh, you know what the third ingredient should be. It's something that you would eat all the time if you could. Hamburgers? Great! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sugar. Yes, that's true. Now, why do we need to add quite a bit of sugar? To make it sweet, because lemons are sour. True. Now, Lauren, will you go fetch the jug of water from the fridge? How much of everything must we put in? Well, that's the secret. <laughs> We're just going to have to experiment, OK? Yeah, catch these lemons over here. Wait, wait, one more. tra ta ta OK, now, will you cut those lemons into halves? and squeeze that with this lemon squeezer over here. You know what is so good about citrus fruits? What citrus fruit? Well, that's fruit like oranges, grapefruits, notches and lemons. They're so good for you because they've got lots of vitamin C in it. But I bet you don't know where in the world citrus fruit first started. South America? No. Japan? Ah, uh, no, but you're getting closer. China? Yes, that's right. They think the citrus fruit was grown in China about 5,000 years ago. I can tell you, this one feels like it grew in China 5,000 years ago. <laughs> yes, this is hard work doing this. <laughs> there. Good one. Now, let's put this lemon juice into the water. Come around and do it, Craig. Let's put it in bit by bit until we decide that the flavor is just right. There we go. Thanks. OK, I think you can put a little bit more in that. Great. Now, Gabby, give this a try. Um, you can't really taste the lemon. Mm. OK, let's put some more in. Right, and um, Buddy, you try it. I can taste the lemon, but it's not strong. You can see the lemon in there. The water isn't clear anymore. Yes, that's because the lemon juice has combined or dissolved with the water. It becomes a mixture. What's a mixture? Well, in a mixture, different things combine together. Like, say, if you put sugar in your coffee. When you stir the sugar, it dissolves and seems to disappear. But you can still taste the sugar and the coffee at the same time, can't you? Yes! <laughs> but not everything has dissolved. Look, there's still bits floating around. Yes, you're right. Bits of lemon. Hmm. Because we've used real lemon juice, huh? OK, Craig, put a little bit more in. Oops. Oh, no! <laughs> Craig, look what you've done! <laughs> it's not a problem. We can sort it out. Let's taste it. <laughs> uh, it's a bit strong, eh? So how can we make it weaker? By putting in more water. Uh, yes, let's do that.
Okay, now Laurie, give it a taste and see what you think. You can taste the lemons and it's not too strong, but it's really sour. <laughs> now this is when we put the sugar in. I'm going to put two tablespoons of sugar in. One and two. And that should be about right. And then I have to stir this for a bit. I'm, I'm going to have to stir it for quite a while. Why is that? Well, so that the sugar can dissolve in the water. Have a look at this. The sugar is made up of crystals. So they're solid. The water and the lemon juice mix together very, very easily. But because the sugar is a solid, we have to stir it so that it dissolves. Scientists call the sugar in this case a solute and the water a solvent and together they make up a solution. Okay, Craig, give it a taste and tell us what you think. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> it takes quite a while to get the sugar to dissolve. Is there a quicker way? Well, if you heated the mixture, then the sugar would melt quickly. But then you'd have hot lemon juice. So we'd have to wait until it cools down. I really like sugar. I would have put a lot more in. <laughs> yes, he'd have put the whole packet in. <laughs> Chef Jeff, if he did put the whole packet in, would it all dissolve? No, actually it wouldn't. There would come a point where there is too much sugar for the water, so it wouldn't dissolve anymore. And uh, of course you know, Craig, that too much sugar cannot be good for you. <laughs> yes, my mother says that. Oh, she's right. You should only try to eat a little bit of refined sugar and rather eat the sugar that you find in fruits, like lemons or other kinds of fruits. Merit? Yeah, boy, my man. It's your turn to make tea, isn't it? <gasps> oh, yes, it is. I'll go and do it just now. Yeah. Hey, you know that I have milk and tea, right? Yeah, yeah. And sugar? Sugar? You never have sugar. Decided to start. Why? Well, you know they are busy building a new tree house for those safari kids up at the jungle cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was watching yesterday, and the man who was building asked if he could have four sugars in his tea. Four sugars? Yes. Wait, that's a lot of sugar. Hey, but doesn't sugar give you energy? Well, yes, it does, but it also rots your teeth and makes you fat. Mm. <laughs> I don't mind. If my tummy gets fatter, then it's something comfortable to lie on when I'm asleep. And if my teeth rot and fall out, then I won't have to brush them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Marvin. Mm -hmm. And without your teeth, you won't be able to eat those millies you love so much. <sighs> oh, true. Or eat an apple. Oh, okay, okay, Marvin. When you make the tea, can I have no sugar, please? <laughs> okay, Lauren, will you go fetch those glasses over there and pour us all some lemonade? And can the rest of you just help me clean up this area? It'll be great. We can just pile everything up into here. Good stuff. Thanks, Mbali. If you can just take it to the other side. And this placemat over here as well. Just careful not to spill the flour all over the floor. Come to make Chef Chef. Well, on the menu for tonight is Chef Salad. So I thought I'd make a salad dressing to put on top of the salad. <laughs> uh, let me just check if I've got everything I need. That and possibly that. Okay, right. So I've got olive oil, hmm? the good stuff, and I've got lemon juice and vinegar and salt and pepper and mixed dried herbs. Cool. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lemon juice and the vinegar together. Okay. And can any of you guess or predict what will happen? The lemon juice and the vinegar will mix together. No, dissolve like the juice and the water did before. Yes, well, let's see if you're right. Aha, yes, you are right. Check it out. And now we're going to add the mixed herbs. 
Ta-ta-ta-ta. And some pepper. I think that should be about enough there. Eh? And some salt. Now, what am I going to have to do with this? You'll have to stir to make them dissolve in the liquid. But do you think they will dissolve? Yes. Let's have a look. Ah, you see, you're right about the salt, but the black pepper and the herbs are still floating around. Hmm? Okay. Now, let's add the olive oil. What do you think will happen? The oil will mix with the lemon juice and vinegar. Oh, look, it doesn't mix. It's just sitting on the top. Ah, yes. You see, substances are different. Oil and water never mix. They always stay separate in a mixture. You see, the oil floats to the top. So you see, not all liquids dissolve into each other. So, when you pour the salad dressing, won't you just get the oil on the top? No, you have to shake it like this. Oops, but you have to remember to put the lid on first. <laughs> Make a mixture in a bottle. Watch and see what happens then. Sometimes things will quickly dissolve before you even count to ten. But sometimes things don't like to mix You can see they stay apart Oil and water like to stay apart Oil and water like to stay separate It's good to know that from the start When you mix things, predict what you see Has the sugar from the solution in a juice for you and me Dissolve, dilute, mix and predict Dissolve, dilute, mix and predict. 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 What, what? So Chef Jeff wasn't giving away his family secrets. He was showing them how to mix lemonade, eh? And when they added lemon to water, you couldn't see it, but it was still there, yeah! And when you add sugar to water, you stir and stir and it forms a solution, but it's still there too! What, what? Ha! <sighs> Why don't you ask your teacher to help you investigate what happens when you mix different things together? Bye for now! Bye! Make a mixture in a bottle Watch and see what happens then Sometimes things will quickly dissolve Before you even count to ten But sometimes things don't like to mix You can see they stay apart Oil and water like to stay apart Oil and water like to stay separate It's good to know that from the start when you mix things, predict what you see Has the sugar from the solution in a juice for you and me Dissolve, dilute, mix and predict 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 Dissolve, dilute, mix and predict, Dissolve, dilute, mix and predict.